Alright guys, my name is Bonnie Kiwi and welcome back to another Roblox Skyblock video. Now, obviously with the recent update, oily crops have become a really, really big issue. Everyone's AFK farms or bulk storage farms are completely broken. Their crops are worth hardly anything. Now, you can still sell them to the oily crop guy, but for way, way less than what the nice clean ones are worth. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly fix your broken farms. If you followed along to my previous videos and you've built an AFK bulk storage farm like me, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't see any way to keep it bulk storage because we need conveyor belts that split or we'd need like 10 washers and so much different coal totems it just wouldn't be very practical so we're going to turn our bulk storage farm into a one chest auto click farm if you can't auto click if you can't use an auto click if you're on xbox or on a pc or a mobile that you can't have an auto clicker on it don't worry about it you can still have the chest fill up with loads of onions you're just gonna have to manually click and empty it much more often but this is a video on how to fix those broken farms if you want to see how to build a completely brand new uh, superior farm with sprinklers uh, wash auto washing all that stuff i'm going to make another video about that because i'm planning on making a whole brand new farm with all the new items but this is just a really quick fix for how to fix those broken farms for now. Before we dive into it, if you could leave a big massive like in this video, I would really, really appreciate it, guys. Also, if you could subscribe, we're at 62,000. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. You could really help me out with that. I'd really appreciate it. Help this community grow. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you my old farm. <laughs> this old gigantic onion tower. It still works completely fine. Uh, the only problem is that all the... And honestly, I emptied these chests like... But just, just before I started recording, so like a minute ago, and they're filled already. But they're just filled with oily crops, so it's, it's no use. You can sell the oily crops to the oily crop guy. <laughs> I think that's what he's called. But um, it's for a much reduced price. You lose so much coin. 30 coin for a regular onion, and uh, 12 coin, I think, it is for an oily crop. So damn, eh? like, that's just not worth it. I'm also in the process of breaking down my old carrot farm because the, the, this design isn't what I want anymore. It's just, it takes so long. I I've spent the last hour breaking down this carrot farm and I just I've just given up like I'll break the rest of that down at another time I just want to get on with the video <laughs> so first of all before we build our new farm I've got loads of water catches here I've got an industrial washing station I've got sprinklers galore I'm going to create a whole new farm that waters the crops which means they grow even faster which means the chest fills faster and also we're going to incorporate obviously the cleaning into that as well so we don't have to keep cleaning them through a water station but first of all I'm going to show you real quick if you've built this farm and this may look a little bit different if you copied my previous videos because I've just been kind of trying to patch it. It's another reason why I wanted to do a whole new design because I've been just having to patch it all the time because certain onions just kept escaping and I was trying to pick onions up from over here and over there and ugh, it just got annoying so I've been trying to patch it up but I want to show you real quick I think I have a method for um, fixing this so that you can wash them. Obviously you're going to need an industrial washing station uh, so I have to break up all these chests all these onions are just being wasted right now. If you haven't seen the video where I broke all this up and let players, random players, stand under here and farm up all the onions, it was my onion waterfall video. It was pretty, it was really fun actually, and I, players left with a whole lot of onions. Okay, so we're gonna fix this bulk farm and we're gonna turn it into an auto click farm. It's the only thing we can really do right now. We are gonna build a whole new auto click farm, so don't worry if you haven't done this already. I'm just doing this as a quick fix to the people that have done it before. I really wish they'd add like a, a destroy tool or something where you could just like hover over everything and just delete everything instantly because destroying things takes so long in this game, man. Okay, so can we have this fall them falling straight onto the industrial washer? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to put a conveyor belt there first. Because remember, we have to put coal into this. We have to put coal into the industrial washer, yeah? Because it's an industrial item, it has to be powered by coal. So we're going to have to have a coal totem here. Otherwise, we'd have to keep running back and filling up with coal. And that wouldn't really make it very much AFK in it, would it? And we'll put a chest at the end here. So obviously, our cleaned crops will get into this chest. And then we'll just have to make it an auto-click method. But for how are we going to get all of these onions into this one place? So we don't lose any. Obviously, we need all of them going into this uh, washing station. Of course, I need to put a coal totem down. So let me just grab the coal totem. Where are you? There you are. This needs to go here. So we'll plop coal onto the conveyor belt into the to the washing station. That'll power this on, and then they'll start being washed. Now I think so long as we just block all of this off like this, so that everything has to like it's like kind of like steps. Everything has to go down there. Wait, why isn't that spawning onto the conveyor belt? It's got to go back. It's got to go back onto an actual conveyor belt. It's, that's trying to spawn onto the the washing station. So maybe this has to go back a little bit. Grab another conveyor belt. Skyblock devs, please let us rotate items. Look at this. I can't. 
I can't place this anywhere. Let me just rotate items, please. Okay, now we should be able to put a coal totem here. It should spawn the coal onto this conveyor belt, at which point we'll need the washing station. Again, I've got to go backwards because we can't rotate it blocks. There we go, and then straight into the chest. Now you've got to make sure it goes straight into the chest. You can't put an arc conveyor belt here, otherwise the crops will get oily again. Because they get oily the second that they touch a conveyor belt, any conveyor belt. Now obviously they're bouncing all over the place right now because we need to block them off. We need to make sure that they can't fall anywhere but onto this, these conveyor belts down here. So I'm going to create like steps. And then I'm going to put like little conveyor belts down the steps. I don't think, maybe, yeah, maybe the, yeah, I, I, yeah, they're getting stuck there. I definitely have to put conveyor belts there. And look at that, we have our first nice clean onion in there. So that's great. Okay, now I have to, <laughs> now I, please let me place like this. God, just, oh, there's always one. There's always one that just don't want to go. Come on. Why, why are you trying to place it right, bro? I have to break my way up in here to try and place this. There we go. That is one side fixed. Okay, let me fix this side. Okay, they're still bouncing and flying everywhere because obviously I need to I still need to lock it in place. And of course, me being the idiot, idiot I am, that's not straight in the middle. So we've got higher on one side and lower at the other. I need to move this a long one, one. But it is working. Okay, let me break it up real quick as we put it here instead. You can see already that's almost filled up with clean onions, so it is absolutely working. Um, <laughs> my character just died for a second. I feel the same way, buddy, with this new update. Don't worry, I feel the same way. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I genuinely think it's a good update. I am actually happy with it. Like, anything that makes it more of a challenge to do all the... Because it's just getting way too easy. So anything that makes it more of a challenge to, to try and get more coins, I'm definitely all for that, man. Okay, so this is the refined design. This will absolutely work once I close the front wall off so they can't bounce off. Obviously, I need to put the industrial washer back here. There we go. And the industrial chest here. And then the coal totem here. So, there we have the improved design. Basically, it's a quick fix for the onion tower if you've had one before. Uh, like I obviously have and uh, it was completely ruined because everything was oily so unfortunately the only way to keep this a bulk storage would have had to be to get a, a washer in front of every one of those conveyor belts we had and then we had to put loads of coal totems there it just wouldn't have been practical so it has to turn it into a, an auto click farm uh, which some of you may prefer a lot of people are saying they prefer the auto click method anyway but um, I guess I'm gonna have to try and come up with a new bulk storage way it's just that if they, if they had like a splitter conveyor belt, if they bring out a splitter conveyor belt where when things come out of the industrial washer, it can split off into two or three or four, even if they had like a, a long conveyor belt with lots of different channels, uh, it's just I don't see a way that, that's, that you can do that right now. Okay, so if I take the glass blocks and then I should be able to just block off everything here. We can still see what's going on inside. There we go, none can fall forward and bounce away now. And if we put glass panes inside here, it stops them from bouncing around too much. They go down the glass pane and that forces them onto the conveyor belt. I know it's getting a bit tricky and a bit messy, but if you see how that's all keeping everything in order. So just put a glass pane in front of those conveyor belts, put glass blocks on the front. I, I feel like glass panes are much nicer, but glass blocks uh, along the front and stuff are much more practical. They just hold everything in because the glass, glass plane doesn't have four sides to it, obviously it just has the one. Now because mine is so high, you wouldn't actually build it this high. Because mine is so high, this is getting really clogged up um, and some are falling off, but obviously we can fix that by putting glass blocks along the side here as well so they can't fall off and they've actually made it so you can put blocks right up the side of the industrial machines now because you couldn't put blocks here uh, from the industrial machines before actually I can't put one here oh yeah I can't okay there we go never mind it's fine the only thing the coal totem here is kind of getting in the way which is quite annoying so stuff can fall off there but it's only one little spot where they can fall off so it's really not that bad you can see look how much is trying to get in there i mean there's, there's space i don't know why it's taking i don't know why it's taking so long to let them in there's definitely space so yeah maybe you could make this conveyor belt a bit longer just to stop the the clog there That's something we'll definitely take into consideration when we build the new farm i'm going to make the new farm uh, with carrots by the way 
just because I have I've broke down the carrot farm, so I have so much spare carrot seeds and totems. And um, plus, I still the onion one does work now. It is an efficient working farm. So, God, it's going to be emptied so so much so so quick. I wonder if the coal totem will still work if we place it on top of a block here. Can you place it on top of glass blocks? I don't think so. Let me try. Okay, you can see I tried putting the, the coal block on top, uh, the coal totem on top of a block here. That doesn't work. It's no longer spawning coal onto it. But I have another idea. What we can do is put it back here and then have a conveyor belt there. <laughs> I know it's getting so complicated, but we're just trying to figure out the best method. This is like a hack job. We're trying to hack everything together. Um, this obviously was not intended for oily crops, but I think if we put a conveyor belt here and have the coal drop on there, we should be good. There. I think, I think that works. Let's just block off here so nothing can fall out. The thing with the glass blocks, they can get really hard to see inside. Yes, that works. The coal is falling down. There we go. We have nowhere where anything can fall out once we close this up, obviously. But you can hear that is burning away. There's no smoke that comes out of this, which is strange. Uh, there's smoke that comes out of every other industrial item. It gets really difficult to see where you've placed glass blocks. Like, I can't even tell. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We've hacked it together, all right? Um, it works. It definitely works. We've turned our oily, useless farm into a fully functioning auto click clean onion farm now. So that is how you fix your broken farms if you have to. Pretty simple method, not the nicest method, but it saves you breaking down. It saves you spending hours or a long time trying to break down all of that. Nothing shall escape. We got one stuck up there, a couple getting stuck on the edge there. We could take that all the way up so that they didn't. But like I said, it's a hack. This is not going to be. Eventually, I'm going to build a new one because this is just a hack to, to so that I can have crops. I can auto click just now while I'm, I'm waiting on our stuff. How did you get in there, fella? Must have taken an awkward bounce right over the top of the washer. <laughs> and again, you would never build it as high as I have. I built it this high to deliberately test the limits and it was also for that waterfall video that I did. Um, you wouldn't build it that high, so don't worry about it. But that is our crazy hack. <laughs> it works. Um, if you have those farms and you're looking for a quick fix because you don't want to spend ages building a whole new farm, that is how you do it. So yeah guys, there you have it. That is how you fix your broken AFK farms. Mine was a bulk storage farm. I've turned it into a single auto-click farm. Yours might be slightly different, but hopefully with that tutorial, you'll see how to actually fix them. It's pretty simple, but some people may have been struggling and I wanted to help you out, especially considering some people have said that they copied my design. I just wanted to show you how to fix that design without you know, having to start from the beginning again. So if you like this video, please leave a big massive thumbs up if it helped you as well. And also subscribe if you're brand new here and uh, please do turn on notifications and leave a comment below and let me know if it helped you or whatever. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.